Hello and welcome back to another video in our series for installing SQL Server. We just wrapped up installing SSRS Report Server 2017, and now we're going to move into the realm of something known as SSDT or SQL Server Data Tools. Now we're going to run through this installer once again. We're able to access this by going into the SQL Server Installation Center, the one we've been using. There's a link for it, and it'll take us right to where we need to download this. There's also kind of two options here, really. Uh, we're going to go through the most streamlined version where we're going to download the SSDT, the full installer, and we're going to run it and install this. And what is going to be the outcome here is that it's going to install a shell version of Visual Studio. Um, also, a lot of times it's just references SSDT. This will be our interface uh, for how we can actually create the business intelligence projects, right? So we have a reporting services server, we have an analysis service instance and integration services, but how do we actually create packages, reports, cubes? It's gonna be through Visual Studio and we're gonna need the BI project templates to do this. So the other path is if you already have Visual Studio itself, maybe you're using it for some other reasons, you can have that and during the installation process of SSDT, it'll actually detect any versions of Visual Studio and effectively, it will install the BI project templates into your existing version of Visual Studio. So in a sense, you can get a more complete experience if you have a full version of Visual Studio already installed, and then you run SSDT. But everything that is cap and everything that you'll, you will need to be able to accomplish can be done just by using SSDT and the shell version of Visual Studio itself. So that's the route we're going to go. It's the easiest, most streamlined way. But just pay, uh, pay attention. When we get into the installer, we're going to have a choice to be able to select Visual Studios if there's any detected, um, which there won't be because I don't have any installed. But just so you know, there actually is, once again, a free-to-use version of Visual Studio that you can leverage yourself. There is a community edition. Um, once again, end user license agreement, not meant for production use. But just know that you can get a full version, and then you can add the BI project templates as part of it. That's what we're going to accomplish in this module. We're going to go through, get SSDT, run the installer, and we'll be able to cre create BI project. And we'll actually launch that shell version of Visual Studio so that you can see what that looks like. So join me over. Let's actually go into the File Explorer and launch that SQL Server Installation Center. So I'm here with my File Explorer. Of course, we know um, you, we, we're making our way. We're making progress. So eventually, you guys will have all of this information. But we can go through and I'm going to go to the SQL Server Installation uh, Center. So we're going to go to that SQL Server media that we have and launch it. We've been here quite a few times at this point. And this time around, we're going to hit that installation just like we've done in the past. But now we're going to move down the list. And the next one we see is install SQL Server data tool. Next, we'll be doing the management tools, but install SQL Server data tools. So we go and we click this. And as always, it takes us to the respective location where we can download this. And this walks through a process showing that there's going to be some small changes for 2019, so on and so forth. But of course, we can go down. If you hit these links, it kind of brings you to where you need to go. So we want the uh, full installer. So it's talking about if you have, you can actually go and install SSDT directly through Visual Studio. So if you have that already installed, you can actually go in and add these um, respectively as they're known as... Um, uh, when you go in the instance, you can go in here and, and, and grab these items and add them into the during the installation process. Or you can go through and you can actually add, just as an add-in, you can locate these. But this is what we want, the SSDT uh, full installer, the standalone installer. This will work if you have an existent install of this or if you don't. So we're going to see that this is going to be through the process. So click on this link, go ahead and download this item. I've already... Uh, gone through the process and done that so you can see that in my downloads here I have this SSDT setup so I'm gonna go ahead and run this real quick we're gonna launch this run we're gonna go ahead and hit next very similar to the reporting services we can see um, what features is it going to install so this has already been selected it's kind of grayed out so you can't uncheck it the other three are the BI templates so default we do already have this set when we install SQL Server Notice that an instance, if we had a version of 2017, so if you have community edition of 2017, you would see it in this drop down list and you would just select it and it will add these respective features to it. We don't though, so we're going to go ahead and hit install just like this. Hit yes here and let it go through this process. 
So just like we've seen in the past, this will move through, it'll go through its installation process. Um, it takes a little bit of time, but once it's said and done, now we're gonna have a shell version of Power BI, or sorry, the shell version of Visual Studio. And a lot of times you'll see in Windows, if you just type in SSDT, it'll bring this up as well. This is how we have an interface so we can actually create, like I said, cubes, packages, reports. This is how you actually create those actual projects themselves. So what we'll do is we'll let this installation run its course and when we come back, we'll look at this shell version of Visual Studio. All right, now I know that one took a little bit longer than the previous items, but it's gone through for me and got it set. And similar to the reporting server, some of you probably got this indication. As we're gonna see here, it is telling me that I need to restart my machine. Now, what you definitely need to, just keep that in mind, to get everything working fully functioning, you wanna make sure you restart, but for the sake of this video, I wanna show you really quick what this has done for us. When I go ahead and I hit my Windows key, I can go ahead and search now. So if I go here, I'm gonna actually bring this up real fast so we can see it uh, real quick. So if I go over here, just so you guys can see this, and I search uh, for Visual Studio, you can see now I have something called Visual Studio 2017 SSDT. So I can actually launch this, which actually comes up on my other window, so give me one second. And the trick is, I've launched Visual Studio before, so you might have gotten a, a, a kind of an initial launch screen, which would have asked you to possibly, if you needed to, um, go through the process and uh, log in. But you'll see, you can say log in later. You can always sign in. It's up in this right-hand corner. If you're using uh, Visual Studio on multiple machines, you can basically sync your settings across multiple devices. That's all that's for. And then after you make that decision, very, very first time you've ever launched Visual Studio, it actually asks you if you would like to, if you have a preferred theme. So I've done the traditional blue theme, there's a white, a light theme, a dark theme. So that's just aesthetics. Once you're done with that, this is where you're going to be. And what we've done here is added the business intelligence projects. So if we were to go here under file, new, and hit project, we're gonna see that we have three options here that are critical to us. We have the analysis services option, which if we extend, you can see that it kind of breaks it down for us, but we can go into tabular specific or multi-dimensional items. So we can create either version of analysis services now. We also can create paginated reports, so our SSRS um, items here, reports. And under business intelligence, we'll find that we can create during it for our SSIS packages. So this is what SSDT gives us, SQL Server Data Tool gives us. But as mentioned, as stated within this installer, make sure you restart the machine accordingly. We'll need to make sure we do that for our next piece, which is SQL Server Management Studio. Because if you think about it, with this last, what we've just done here with SSDT, you're ready to effectively take our classes. You can create packages, reports, cubes, whatever you're working on. But what about databases? For instance, integration services, reporting services, we need sources that have data that we wanna use. So we're gonna do this. We already have a database instance installed, but we need a way to interact with it. We need a way so that we can um, up or, or install. I'm gonna say the word install, but we'll go more formally into this later. Um, add databases that we have access to. Because right now we have an instance that only has two databases really. There's system related databases, but user defined ones. And those are the reporting DB and the report temp DB when we installed our SSRS report server. So we need to add more. So it's gonna be the AdventureWorks ones. That's the one we're gonna be using, the AdventureWorks. It's very standard, there's lots out there. But community wise, we're gonna find the AdventureWorks uh, transactional database and the AdventureWorks uh, data warehouse. So that's what's gonna be covered later on. For now though, we've got our BI projects ready to go and a shell version of Visual Studio. So hopefully you're excited and I'll see you in the next one.